I think a good teacher is passionate about their students and about their content. Um, and that's what's great about Jeff is he's a big old geek and he lets us all be geeks with him. My name is Jeff Glover and I teach uh, in the English department here at the University of Pittsburgh. And I teach um, science fiction, uh, African American literature, and we're dealing with issues of representation, who gets to be an author, um, who gets to read the text, how those texts are going to be read, and what, what purpose science fiction has in general at this point in time. Probably the word he uses most in all of his courses is intersectionality. He wants to examine the totality of uh, character in a text, what kind of social power do they have, what does their race or their class or their gender say about them and what can we learn from that. Science fiction gives us as its base premise this idea that the world we're reading isn't the world we live in. It's one of the few literatures that allows us to reconfigure what is and then we can explore from that issues of identity, um, issues of community, connectivity. A lot of the times he'll talk about equity and other things of that nature. I find it personally rewarding because it's something that I definitely have to experience on a daily basis being a person of color. Uh, it really helps me gain another perspective of what my classmates and peers think about issues that I have to deal with regularly. And so I think it's really important to have somebody like Jeffrey Glover because he's able to facilitate a classroom environment where we all feel comfortable enough to talk about these really interesting and engaging topics. Working with Jeff has helped me grow a lot as a person. I come from the rural South. Um, I had a very different perspective on everything before I came to college, but especially things like race relations and gender. I just had ideas that had been given to me that I had never thought critically about. When it comes to race, which is what I, I most often deal with, you have to make sure that everybody is on the same page, that they understand that everybody is raced and that everyone has a stake in racial discussions. So we have to kind of remove this veneer of normalcy from certain groups. Um, and we also have to remove the veneer of expertise by others. And it's only by kind of equating the value of these voices that the discussion itself then, then begins to take off. I go to his office hours about once a week, sometimes to go over things with class, but more often than not, just to talk about life. Uh, we have a really great friendship, I think, where we can talk about literally anything, whether it be race or politics or just a good movie. I've never had another professor who's so generous with their office hours uh, and so willing to do uh, things outside of the classroom for their students. You end up wearing a, just a myriad of hats, but they're all hats that the students need you to wear to become the best students they can. There is also the, I guess, the the rush you get when you, when you can actually see a student get an idea, the light bulb moment, um, that actually is pretty heady and it's hard to give up. My mother was a teacher. Uh, I have aunts that are teachers. My grandmother was a teacher. I have teachers who were inspiring and interesting and challenging um, on every single level from grade school on. I can you know, go back to their experience and say, hey, you, as an individual, and your approaches to your subject matter made me a better person. I want to do that for other people. I think he sees his responsibilities as an educator in the way that he affects all of our lives. I think that's part of why he goes to such lengths to help each of us as individuals grow. I came into Pitt, I was a theater major, and then having his science fiction class, all of a sudden I was a literature major, all of a sudden I was a TA, all of a sudden I'm working in education. I went from wanting to be an actress to wanting to be a policymaker, and it's all because he helped me see the value in education. It wasn't just something you do for yourself, it's something you do for everyone. And I can see the way that the things we've talked about in text, they're not just an academic thing, they're really coming to fruition outside the world of the university. As a pre-medical student, it's made me realize that patients aren't just patients, they're uh, people that have to interact with gender dynamics and power and race on you know, a spectrum throughout their lives, it makes you more sympathetic and empathetic. He shows us what it means just to be a good person. He's somebody that I can look up to as a good role model. He's just a genuinely friendly guy that cares about each individual student, and I think that really makes him special. Jeff has taught me to try and find opportunities to be compassionate 
and to um, find where there's inequity in life and to help people bridge that.